Hello Aggies Worldwide, I'm Dave Kessler, Amateur Radio Call Sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. In this one I'm going to do a little bit of a follow-up on the Cushcraft HV4E vertical antenna. Uh, we did a review of that in episode 1093, so quite recently. This is a new antenna from Cushcraft, or MFJ, MFJ owns Cushcraft. Uh, and they're all, all these little companies are down in Starkville, uh, Mississippi. And they've kept the Cushcraft and the High Gain and the Ameritron labels all separate from each other. Although, of course, there's integrated organization and they help each other with the installs. This is their first antenna in a long time. It's a simple antenna. It's not terribly expensive. We reviewed it thoroughly except we only did receiving tests. Now, last Thursday evening, during the live stream, I uh, did a little bit of comparison testing. My normal antenna is a vertical by Step IR called the Big IR. Very interesting antenna. Uh, sturdy performer. I mean, that thing is built to last. And... Um, that's what I use for these, uh, and that's what I use for the Thursday evening net. Now, what I did on this was, uh, for the first couple people I talked to, I had them do an on-the-air uh, listening test uh, between my transmitting on the Cushcraft and on the Step IR. What we found out was that they were, quote, equal. Now, they're both unity gain antennas, so you're not going to get a dramatic difference in them. Several people said they liked the uh, MFJ or Cushcraft antenna a little bit better, but I would say they'd be about the same. Now, this is actually saying something quite remarkable. The Step IR antenna is a pretty sturdy affair, and it sends its uh, little it sets itself up for the band by putting pushing a copper tape up through a channel into the air and on 40 meters that is 33 feet high which is a full quarter wavelength and plus I have lots and lots of radials on that antenna so it really does perform consistently well. Now the uh, Cushcraft antenna uh, is a little different. It's short. It's less than 20 feet high. It's designed to be hidden in your backyard amongst the trees or whatever. If you've got a tree or a bush that's more than 20 feet high, you can hide this thing in there. and uh, Or put it out back where there's some trees or something like that. Or if you don't have antenna restrictions just right out back, you won't be able to see it from the street because it's less high than the house. Now, I ground mounted it uh, and put out uh, eight radials and the thing is doing just absolutely wonderfully. So I wanted to report to you on that final test on this particular antenna. To my surprise there is no compromise here in terms of how well the antenna performs compared to a thoroughly competent uh, unity gain antenna from Step IR. So do I recommend this antenna? You bet. This would be a great first antenna for you if you don't mind fiddling with it, putting things together, and then fiddling with tuning it. It takes longer to tune it than it does to put it together. It covers four bands, 40, 20, 15, and 10, which are the, quote, traditional bands. It does not cover the work bands. But this is one really cool antenna. So I think you might like to know what we discovered during the live stream last Thursday. So, until we next meet, 73.